Welcome back, my beautiful collective. This is G420 Goddess, Tarot for the Golden Goddesses and Gods, my beautiful collective. We will be pulling from the Chosen Journey deck on this beautiful day. I would like to say thank you for stopping through, my beautiful collective. I so appreciate you being here. I really do. I've cleared the space of all negative energy. I've prayed over this reading. And I'm going to try not to keep you guys. This will be a general reading. This may or may not resonate with you. And if it doesn't, it's okay. Take what does and leave the rest hey, alone. My beautiful collective, please remember to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and hit that like button, my beautiful collective. Angels, ancestors, and divine Holy Spirit, we're going to get this reading on the road for me and my beautiful collective with messages. Ooh, wait. This. All right, all right. We're going to have to go like this. Then, I thought I was able to. Um... Okay, okay. All right, I got a message for a Pisces. Somebody who's creative, empathetic, generous, mysterious. My Pisces. My water side. My very emotional Pisces, this message is for you. You could be dealing with a Capricorn, maybe not. Oh, my Pisces, you could be dealing with a Sagittarius, somebody who's wild, feisty, sociable, very honest, unique, very friendly. That's the party bunch, okay? And they could be bringing out some things in you, my Pisces. Okay, so we dealing with... A Pisces and a Sagittarius. Somebody is in a 3D. Somebody is dealing with an unhealthy ego. Being very judgmental. That's not good. Putting labels on shit. And then we have this Aries, my beautiful collective. We got a lot going on. Somebody who's spontaneous, fiery, bold, independent. So we have two fire signs down here. A Sagittarius and an Aries. And then we have a Pisces down here. My Pisces, you could be you could have spiritual gifts, my beautiful Pisces. Through the all <laughs> those emotions you be dealing with. Some of you guys might know, but you guys are very intuitive, my beautiful Pisces. And you guys could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Yeah, somebody's at a crossroads, my beautiful collective. Somebody's looking for some kind of decision, some kind of direction. Somebody is stuck at a fork in the road, and it could be the Sagittarius. Pretty much tired of the party in life. You ready to settle down. Somebody could be embodying this Aries energy. You, you know, it could be this Sagittarius. She's just very spontaneous, you know, and you pretty much at a crossroads. You know, you trying to get rid of this unhealthy ego you have. And you met this Pisces, somebody who's pretty much down to earth. In touch with their emotions. Very emotional. Very sensitive. And you feel like this person is your guardian angel. This person is there to protect you. Assist you. This person is there to listen to you. And that does sound like a Pisces. Okay? Very intuitive, very patient, very determined. I could be talking to a tarot reader. 
my beautiful Pisces. Okay. So I'm getting that. Uh, and you don't have to be a Pisces, Sagittarius, or Aries. You can have this somewhere in your birth chart. But somebody is at a crossroad. Somebody is ready to change their ways. What did I say? Somebody is ready to let go. Letting go. Releasing. Surrendering. Breaking free from burdens. And this could be a Sagittarius. I'm talking to my party bunch. You guys are tired of, you know, doing things spontaneously. You feel like you may party too much. And you're at this moment being honest with yourself. You're ready to let this 3D energy go. It's very unhealthy. And this Pisces is bringing you into your 5D space, okay? Your 5D energy. You can't even make this up. You guys are coming into unity, becoming one experience unconditional love you dealing with the truth and what did i say intuitive you can't make this up okay so i'm talking to somebody who's ready to just settle down and and get with the program yeah that party life may be putting you in poverty excuse the uh misspell word, word okay some of you guys may have hit rock bottom and it's time to get down to your root chakra it's time to get uh, grounded you're looking for stability you're looking for that security and that Pisces really made I am definitely dealing with uh, fire signs. Look at this Leo. Somebody is standing in their power. Okay? You can't make this up. Somebody is feeling beautiful. I really believe I'm dealing with a Pisces and a Sagittarius. And Sagittarius, you are, yep, yeah, you have had a tower moment. Something fell apart. Something got you in poverty, too much partying. This may have caused you to become homeless. Might be living with friends, family members, just by making poor decisions. Being in a mental prison. And this Pisces is helping you to come, become in tune. Pisces is hypnotizing to you. Somebody is watching you. Somebody is spying on you. Trying to see what you're doing. You can't even make this up. Neptune. Pisces. Somebody is having dreams. Instincts. Pisces. Your psychic abilities. You can't even make this up with Neptune. Pisces is ruled by the planet Neptune, my beautiful collective. And I am talking to two lovers, okay? Yeah, somebody is dealing with self-esteem issues. But you're getting through this. You have met your soulmate. And again, you don't have to be a, a Pisces, Sagittarius, or Aries, but you can just have them somewhere in your chart, my beautiful collective. But you guys are coming to grips. I think you guys are going to make this a union. This is definitely, again, your soulmate. You guys are ready to just... Put your party in ways behind you. Settle down. Yeah, you guys, I can't even make this up. You guys are moving. You guys are moving forward. You guys are elevating. You're starting a new chapter in your life. Something that's going to help you become secure and stable. 
And with this Pisces, you got somebody who's very determined behind you. Or somebody with Pisces in their birth chart. You can't make this up, my beautiful collective. And this is love. And this is between a queen of cups, I see, and a divine masculine. Can't make this up. Guys, it's working on your, yeah, ace of fire, new passion. So, yeah, you guys are moving on. You're closing up chapters and starting anew. And it seems like this is what's been the reading like this whole week. Like, I don't know if it's due to the Mercury retrograde and we're getting ready to have a new moon in Libra and, you know, new romance Cycles are going to begin, you know, but this is beautiful. Whoever I'm talking to, you guys, you have met somebody who has helped you, you know, see some health, unhealthy things that were going on in your life. You could talk to this person. You're very comfortable. And they help you let go of some shit that was no longer serving you. Yeah. Yeah. You guys are going to be just fine. And somebody is definitely watching you. They watching you move on, my beautiful collective. <laughs> okay? They are watching you move on. Into bigger and better things. A new love. Until next time, my beautiful collective. God bless you. I'm praying for you guys. Thank you so much. Remember to like, share, subscribe. Until next time, stay beautifully blessed, happy and healthy. And most of all, stay safe, my beautiful collective. Until next time. Mwah! Take care.